Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be taking a look at another P Bandai kit and this right here is Gundam F91 After Image Color. Once again, as usual, this video right here would not be possible without those awesome people over at Baiyi. So if you're ever looking for some P Bandai kits, rare kits, or just anything in general from Japan you can't get your hands on, then check out that link down there in the description. Now let's get to this. So before I actually get into this anymore, I will mention that if you want to see an absolute full in-depth review of the Gundam F91, that is the Gundam F91 2.0, this one right here, then I will put a link to that review in the description and a card right here. But for now, we're just going to be taking a look at the differences of this P Bandai After Image version. So once again, if you want to see everything like the articulation, more detail, then it'll be in that other review. So once you have it snipped off the runners and snapped together, this is exactly what you're going to get. So this kit is 100% identical physically to the F91 that we saw before. The only difference, of course, is the fact that this is clear for the most part. That's what makes this the after image color. On the off chance you're not familiar with the anime, I'm not going to spoil anything or anything like that, so I won't say anything in detail. But basically, towards the end of the movie, the F91 leaves after images, and that's exactly what this is. So while the F91 is moving super fast, it leaves these behind. So there is what it looks like side by side with the standard Master Grade 2.0. And of course the difference is this one is a bit clear, that one is not. And the clearness definitely is a double-edged sword. This has some awesome aspects, but at the same time it has some odd aspects. Of course the best aspect is there's a whole lot going on here. We've got some super clear yellow like up here in the V-fin with that super clear red. The whites on this have a semi-opaque look. Even the black of the inner frame is clear. It's all pretty cool. The blue on this is absolutely fantastic looking to boot, but all in all the colors on this do look fantastic. Definitely one of this kit's pros. The red on this, the blue on this, they are really, really eye-catching with a kind of jewel-ish vibe to them. On top of that, you're actually able to really appreciate the metallic parts on this kit. This kit and the original kit that it was based on, both feature some nicely finished metallic parts. These parts have been painted on the runners and look fantastic. They're in the chest the legs, as well as around here on the thrusters. They look great and they're even more apparent on this kit than on the original. However, I did mention there is a bit of a con when it comes to this thing's clear construction and that's that you can actually see into the way that this kit has been built. So you're able to see into the way all the parts snap together. Some people may like this because you actually get to see the build of the kit itself, but if you're expecting something that's a little bit anime accurate, of course the after images in the anime are not going to show a bunch of plastic pegs, the way the yellow parts connect on, etc, etc. But personally, as a model kit builder, I really do like to see what is going on in there, so to me, that's pretty awesome. As to the stickers we get in here, they're identical to what we saw before. I didn't use the majority of these because I didn't feel that they'd be so needed on the after image so much. I only use the eyes as you can see right here, but the rest are just for on lenses. We've got a couple of color correcting ones in black and some color correcting ones from the shield parts. On top of that we have a whole bunch of sticker style decals and even better, my absolute favorite, we get a bunch of dry transfers in here as well. Once again, I did not use these, but this is an example of what they look like on the 2.0 and I absolutely love these style of decals. By far my favorite, they look great. But honestly, at the end of the day with this kit, this has one purpose and one purpose only. How good does this thing look as an after image to the 2.0? And the answer to that is, it is extremely, extremely effective. This does look awesome. Just put it in the background matching the pose of the F91 2.0 and it looks astounding. So this definitely does exactly what it's meant to do. Pretty awesome. So moving right on into the accessories and this is exactly what we would have seen before with the last version of the Gundam F91 2.0. And just to kind of move through it quite quickly, what we got in here is a stand, beam launcher, beam rifle, an extra fully transformable head, beam shield, two beam sabers, a 1-100 scale figure of Cecily Fairchild, four extra fingers including the ones that are on the Gundam itself right now that is a grand total of six, and finally that little central section of the beam shield. So the hands in here are the swappable finger types. They just pop out like that and pop in like this simple enough but unlike most swappable finger types we do not get some widespread fingers in here. As for the weapons we've got the beam launcher that has a moving handle up front, removable magazine and two opening flappy flaps right here in the front. This attaches on simply enough with the trigger finger holding hands and that right there is what it looks like attached. Once again very similar to what we saw before but this time in those translucent colors. And also using that exact same hand style is the beam rifle 
right here. So once again, this is the same as what we would have seen before, this time just in translucent, and the only moving part on this is the foregrip right here, so that can move side to side. Next up in here, we've got a pair of beam sabers. One and two. So these beam sabers right here are fairly basic looking, but at the same time, the color used here really does catch the light perfectly. They also have flat tips, as you'll see there, compared to the usual tapered ends. But once again, same as what we saw before. And of course, when these are not in use, they can be tucked away into the side skirting armor, just like this. Speaking of crazy green effect parts, we've got the shield as well, which really does catch the light. This just attaches onto the arm section, just like so, and it does look mesmerizing. Also, we do have a spare shield unit, which can be kept inside the other side skirt, when not in use, like so. Next up in here, we do have a fully transforming head. This one right here is stuck as either the Gundam style or the opened style. This one can transform from one to the other, basically with a fully opening gimmick and whatnot, but I'm not gonna go through that fully in this review. If you wanna see more on that, check out the full review of that 2.0 F91. Lastly then, in here we do have a stand. This is a very particular stand because this can be used with a LED unit for this kit which is sold separately, which pops in here, runs up through the back, and that all slots into the back of this guy right here. So this stand does not move at all, it's stuck in position, but is specifically here for using with that LED unit. But we do get a standard base adapter in here as well, so you can use it with any standard action base. So just like with the rest of the review, I'm not gonna go through the articulation in full. If you wanna see it in full, you can check out the review of the standard version as they are physically identical. But this does have some very nice features like these sections that pop out from the shoulder. They can fold away when not in use. You do have that fully transformable head. We do have the absolutely awesome side skirts, which can store its equipment. Around on the back, we also have this awesome little segment here that can fold out in order to hold the beam launcher. And that is very, very nice and intricate in there. The cannons on the back are very nice. They can swing forward like so, pull out like that and like that. But at the same time, the torso is a little bit limited. Could be worse. But the front skirting armor here does limit the legs quite a bit. And on top of that, these knees are a little bit weird. You don't get much of a bend out of these without pulling them out like this. At the same time, you do not really get all that much in the end, and they can stick sometimes unless you bend them up the right way, like that. But all in all, it could be a lot worse. It's still pretty good. So that is it for the review. And what can I say? This is identical in every way but the color to the standard Master Grade F91 2.0. So that means it is silver tier, just like the kit that came before it. The pros with this kit is it is very, very detailed for something so small. It packs in a lot of detail. It's got multiple different styles to the plastic. We've got jewel clear, we've got opaque clear, we've got those awesome metallic parts that we saw in the original. And all in all, when it comes to looks, it may just come down to whether or not you like clear kits or not, whether you like this. But for me, I think it has that extra bonus of it makes sense. This is meant to be the after image left behind from the F91, so it looks great when posed identically behind the F91. It has such a cool feel. It packs in all the detail we saw with the original, that is all those cool transforming parts like the head, the pop out shoulders, the side skirts which contain the beam sabers, the extra shield, those big cannons on the back that can swing forward, all in all pretty damn cool. However, when it comes to P Bandai kits, I would have liked to see the LED unit included, something to make it a little bit different, but then again, that would hike up the price, but that would have been nice, especially with a clear kit. But anyway, if you do want one of your own, or you do want any P Bandai that you can't find anywhere else, check out that link down there in the description. You can get this at Baiyi. I've also added the Amazon link, so you can find it if you've got the Chrome extension for Baiyi. You can just click that link for Amazon, click the Chrome extension, and then add to your Baiyi cart, and it'll be right there on the website for you to buy. Anyway, as usual, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to come back for more Gunpla reviews, and I'll see you next time.